Hello there and salam ibu pertiwiku. Sarawak does not accept the ideology and doctrine of PAS. This was emphasized yesterday by Sarawak Legislative Assembly Dun Speaker Dato Amar Muhammad Asfia Awang Nasar, reiterating that it has been the stand taken by Chief Minister Dato Patinggi Abang Zuhariton Abang Haji Openg. Asfia pointed out the coincidences of circumstances between Kelantan and Sarawak being the state which benefits very little from their own oil and gas resources has resulted in the perpetuation of poverty with the wealth of the state has been cut away. Describing such action as grossly unjust and one-sided, Asfia opined that there must be quid pro quo, meaning we give you this and you give us that. There has not yet a circular received from the Ministry of Education, MOE, regarding its decision to divide Form 4 students into science and art streams next year. Minister of Education, Sciences and Technological Research Sarawak, Datuk Sri Michael Manyin said, should the ministry go ahead with the policy, Sarawak could not do anything but to follow in view of education being under the federal list as our job is only to help with the implementation, supplementary and complementary of the policy. On the policy, he said there were good things and bad things observing the present performance of students in science, technology, engineering and mathematics STEM subjects in the whole country was still quite low. Manian further said that the target all this while has been 60%, but it is still way off at the moment with only 24.2% for Sarawak. On the updates of Pan Borneo Highway, there is a need for road diversions along the upgraded federal trunk road into a four-lane dual carriageway of Pan Borneo Highway, Sarawak. Laboraya Borneo Utara, LBU Head of Technical Services, Saroj Kumar Lahori said, the upgrading work does not only include widening the road from the existing two lanes into four lanes carriageway, but also upgrading the horizontal and vertical curves of the road to smoothen the profile. Saroj added that constructing temporary road diversions takes few weeks as all necessary traffic equipment needs to be installed according to the approved traffic management plan. He then asked the public to bear with the construction during this time and assured that the first carriageway of the Pan Borneo Highway will be completed by the beginning of next year. And that is all for now. I'm Shirabang Mansor. Keep updated to news at tvsarawak.com anytime, anywhere.